What you got going on here? Getting ready to go to work. You're gonna go to work? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? I'm gonna work the beet harvest. Got my beet harvest shirt on. Huh? The Michigan Sugar Beet Harvest. Yes. So today is orientation. And they say come ready to work. So I don't know. They didn't really tell us like if we're gonna work a shift or anything. They just said show up. Orientation. And I'm guessing if they if things are in swing, then we go to work. If not, then we come back. I don't know. <laughs> we but, don't know a whole lot of. So this I'm time. just packing. So I'm packing for like a 12 or 14 hour day, and I don't know if I'm gonna be there two hours or if I'm gonna be there 12 or 14. Yes. So. And you don't know what shift you're going to work. It could be the night shift, the day shift. I don't know anything yet. You don't know nothing. Yeah. So stay tuned. It's unlike us. We don't like that. <laughs> I like plans. Mm -hmm. oh, it'll all work out. Okay. So Jeff will to, let you know. Try to make some moolah. Now keep in mind, <laughs> this ain't my kind of work. <laughs> it's yeah. not what I normally do. You won't be working on any rakes. So we'll see. But we're here for the experience. Yep. You can't just run around and have fun all the time, free willy. <laughs> you gotta make some money once in a while and you gotta try mm -hmm. something different. So Yep. Yeah. And overall if you're working up hours it doesn't pay too too bad. So too bad. We'll see. Plus there's a bonus at the end if you make it through the whole thing. Yeah. So. You get a ten percent completion bonus on it all the uh, hours you've accumulated, so Which isn't bad. Yeah. All right, stay tuned. Good morning. 5 a.m. comes pretty early. We're on day, I believe day 17 of the Michigan beet harvest. That's uh, 12 hours a day, seven days a week straight through. So do the math real quick. I don't know what all that adds up to, but it's 84 hours a week um, for about two and a half weeks so far. And I think we have a few days to go. Anyway, so when we sold our house, uh, the old sticks and bricks and hit the road, it wasn't just about um, going from cool park to park and uh, seeing all these national parks and the landscape. It was about an adventure and trying new things. So I took this job at the Michigan Beet Harvest. I wasn't sure what I was signing up for, honestly, entirely, but I'm working the beet harvest and I run a piler. Uh, this piler, uh, basically you bring in these semis and you coordinate them and back them in and then you unload their, their load onto your machine and the piler basically puts them in a pile. That's exactly what it says it does. Thought I'd take a minute to show you a little bit about the uh, beet piles. Right behind me is piler six. This is our piler. Uh, we're broke down right now, a little maintenance issue. Should be up and running here pretty soon. Uh, look at how big these piles are. Uh, this one right behind us, you can see these cooler tubes that go into these piles. Um, that's what keeps them cool during the winter months and into the spring. These will be the last ones they pull out and process, but this pile goes way beyond where those tubes are down there. That's where we started and we piled up all these beets. Talking 5 million tons of beets uh, they're estimating bringing into this piling yard. We're done with the beet harvest. Nima's excited. <laughs> That's why the camera's on. She's pumped. Nima is very excited. Good morning, by the way. We are still in Michigan. It, we have been in Michigan since October 7th. It is now November 10th, and we are finally it's leaving. Pretty cold out. It's, uh, I think it's in the 20s, so yes. frost all over. You can see I got my heated coat on. <laughs> my stuff. <laughs> They go clean up outside. But we are headed to Florida for the winter. Yay! I'm so excited. I'm done with the cold. I'm yeah. done. I want my tank tops and shorts back. I'm done with pants and sweats. I'm over it. I'm over See, the cold. You're done with all that. 
I'm done with boots, toe warmers, two pairs of wool socks, yeah. thermal underwear, pants, and then four <laughs> layers of shirts and a heated coat, and then another coat over that, and then of course the stocking cap that comes over and covers your ears. And I'm done standing on a piler with the snow and wind and rain. So we are with our friends still, Mark and Brenda, and we are all traveling to Florida together. And my sister sold all of her stuff and went on the road and she is going to meet us tomorrow and go to Florida with us. So all she of us are by, gonna- She means by sell all her stuff, her, like her house. house. <laughs> well, yeah, her house, her, sold everything. She retired from her job and she is loving life right now, I think. Yeah and it's gonna meet up with us and we're gonna all go to Florida together. Should be fun. So we'll let you know how our adventure goes to Florida. <sighs> all right, I guess I go out there and put the water away and electrical cord and we're ready. Let's go. I have to put the awnings away. Oh, put the awnings in. And the slides. Yeah. Okay. Do it. morning we are in Tennessee right now and we stayed at a harvest host it was Silver Springs Vineyard last night and they have a um, Greek cafe with the with the um, winery I'm like it's early this morning anyway it was delicious it was the wine was excellent the food was incredible um, nice accommodations a little loud at night other than just that. a little bit there's a train and and you're right on the road but highly recommend this place Definitely. if you need to stop over and you're a harvest host member come to silver yeah. springs vineyard yeah right off the 75 and mm -hmm. we are coming from michigan and we're southbound and down yeah or still florida. headed to florida yep so yeah we're and we picked up there. my sister and we still have our friends with us here's the group right here so we are our next stop is in georgia so we'll see you there On the road repair. See, it's not supposed to be like that. No, it's supposed to be up here, not here. So where did you guys have to go? We went to Harbor Freight and bought a welder, then to Home Depot to buy some metal stock to put on here to brace this up until we can get it all replaced. Fun times, life on the road. Oh, heck yeah. So, yeah, yep. life on the road. Yep, they enjoyed it. Where's Jeff at? Uh, he's getting some tools inside. Different oh. Dishes. <laughs> Maybe he just left you here. No, no. Fix it, Mark. No, no. No, nope, not me. <laughs> there, that's how it's supposed to go, right there. And then up. That's supposed to go right there. Connect yeah. with that right there. Yep. And this one's not supposed to be bent. It's supposed to be straight. <sighs> yes. This is our RV life. RV life. Yep. It's fun, though. Yes, it is. I wouldn't change it for anything. You got it. Exactly. And good friends that help hubby out. Hey, I'm here, man. With I'm, our spider webs and everything hanging yep. down. I'm here for the duration. <laughs> Whatever I can do. To stay out of the way or help. <laughs> One of the two, huh? That's right. <laughs> Smells like the old metal shop days. <laughs> Wait for the compressor. 
91. Yeah, it looks like it joins up down here. Yeah, see, we come down here, we join right here at Leesburg on the 27th.